Ni hallelujah church. Na. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. Most welcome. We also believe that you are happy. Let me request to great few people. So them I'm glad to see the house of the Lord. Welcome them in the house of the Lord. If there is an empty seat in front of you, please come forward, come forward until there is no empty seat before you. Amen. Mukama favors the Uganda. Praise the Lord. Mukama favors the way. Praise the Lord. Mweva le kujamu nyumba ya mukama. Thank you for coming to house. Mweva zamukama atuwa buanguzi mukuri soye somwa na we. Thank God for giving us. Mweva zamukama rich search of Uganda. Thank the Lord for His grace. Amina. Tuwa Chris ganyani tu mwaka guno paka dense banga sato mulumu. You agree that. See her up to 31st December. We are going to be seeking the Lord in, in prayer and in fasting and in all possible ways, brethren. God is preparing for us something. Amina. Amina. We are in a class and the Lord is teaching us. The Lord is teaching us His ways. And whenever you are at school, brethren, there is always things go, going on. Therefore, for us, we are always here. We want everyone to have an, at least a night you spend here. There are pastors always here who are leading prayers. Therefore, we need Every one of us to get a day so that you spend it here. We get a night, spend it here. Together with the, the pastors who will be around. Then on every Friday, all of us are here. The intention is to make an altar here. Because the Lord has called us to be a church that prays. We have an altar for the nation, an altar for the Bible tells us in the Old Testament that the altar always had to have. Fire 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 it is always rekindled every time. Amina. Amina. Some of you are never around. But we encourage you, please persevere. When you don't pray, you are losing your life. The Lord kept your future. The Lord kept your, your victory and on your knees. Don't look at your future. Your future is in your knees. Your victory is in your power. For prayer. We may pray for you. And you get food. No one can help you get into your future unless you get food. No pastor, no man of God can pray for you to enter into your destiny. The power to pray yourself from one level to another is hidden in your knees. And sometimes the kind of prayer that will lift you from situations of lose, of failure to success is always a time 
the of devotion that takes time ero lwa kasera kagendo kuyamba kuva kudale limode kundalo ve mukulemererwe dembu wanguzi kasera kokomala mukweya ula when a moment of waiting on god comes kati akasera ko kulindira mukama bwekadi laziness obunaf must be set aside obugaya vwino kudiziwa self pity must be set aside you need to be a person that focuses and you need to convince your mind that unless you pray nothing will ever change for you you can complain all you want you can call talk and talk to everyone but no one has the power to change your future your destiny apart from god who created you therefore i challenge you people from now to december purpose to set your life aside to seek the lord like you have never done before to wait on him until you hear his instructions we are praying for our future we are praying for our children we are praying for our ministry we are praying for our families we are praying for this nation god will do amazing things for those who wait on him the bible promises that they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall run and not faint they shall walk and not grow weary amen that's the power of prayer and so we, we we need to be people who stop we need to stop talking about prayer and be prayer warrior tugena kujjawo bino byo nabe abyemwalo koka nabyo byo kusabira ku masimu ku radio tugenda ku kusaba bible kweragira we are going to pray the way the bible zukuka wake up va mu kitanda get out of your bed funa kasonda get a corner saba and pray Mukama fever is praise the lord I let us go to sabalala in sala in sala yamba gwe this prayer only helps you va mu bintu byo kugamba ate we naze sasa ze ubantu ate batugamba ajja kuba wo musumba wo musumba te bamuzala je bakuzala the pastor doesn't come from where you come buli omune nakuya bulugana everyone has their own sorrows saba pray mukama fever is we praise the lord we saba bibyo Pray on prayers. Don't ask whether you came. We also pray for us. If there are other people who are praying, praise the Lord. But praying with people also disturbs it. Disturbs you have other things that have broken. Then another one is saying, let's pray for food. To sabire sikat. If not, the tuambala sikat. Not all of us put on skirts. No lochi okusaba weka. Therefore praying alone. Chikuwo budde gives you time. Okweya bya manso ga mukama. To pour out your heart before the Lord. Esala no jenjogera ko yeri kana ja saba mu Samuel yakisoka bibi. Is the prayer Hannah prays in first Samuel. Dina kabiri yakatonda. That he cried and to she cried. Ne pasta na mugambo tamide. And to the priest said you are not. Na gambo mudana otanatamira. She said no your servant. Na yenu yenakwe tule eri ku ntobo yo mutima. But the sorrow that sits on top on the bottom of my heart. Mbunafu ko mutima gwe mu maso ga mukamu. She poured out her heart. Abalanga baseka. as others were Nebai bleganti kana nazala nazala Samuel gave birth to Samuel Era Samuel and Samuel Atete alinga bali abana bani ba mujjawe Bible tebogera na manya The Bible doesn't even mention the names of Mukama fever zibu Nole cha buluganda buli tuna imiano tugena kubasomoze ku kigambo cyo kusaba So whenever we stand here we are going to challenge you on on the issue of prayer Kubanga ba mu mwamanyira nyebi ebibinja okusabira learn how to have a personal private prayer time Wegirizo kubako nakaseranga kakoka kweya ulamukusaba 
Era oinoka kasanti obulamu bwo bwo kusaba. I need to make sure that your prayer life buva musawe mu comes from one hour. Oyingire ke sawa ngatano. Go into about 5 hours. Go saba. Pray. 5 hours. The sawa time. Nane stop ngononya katonda. Seeking for the Lord. Niwe munasirika njogedde. Oyino okusaba. You need to pray. Pakanga esawa oweza satu. Until you can Tano. Nga tosiri sana yofu. Oli mkumaso gamu kamu usaba. But before the Lord pray. Aba sababu weba chyo. The people who pray like that. Beba chyo sensi za. The people who change their nations. Neza baliru anaba. And the nations of their nations. Eraba sabaliru. And the people who pray now. Beba geno kufuge insencha. And the people who are going to rule over this world tomorrow. Praise the Lord. And those who don't pray, they have already lost hope. Your eyes are focused on people. But people who pray, you raise up your eyes unto the Lord. And you watch salvation coming to us. Amen. Already the Lord has been all over the world. The enemy is already all over the world. One of, one of the weapons of witchcraft is, is, witch, is discouragement. Discouragement. You remember the story of Elijah? The Bible says in one day he slaughtered 800 false prophets. And then there was the 800, but there were also the 400. In one day. And he was able to return the whole nation back to God after about 40 years, or over 40 years. But there was this witch doctor, witch, witch woman called Jezebel. We talked about Jezebel, a woman that will fight the prophetic. She does not like intercessors. She will stop, she will try to do anything to stop those who hear the voice of God and those who talk to God. Jezebel, we, I, I remember talking about, uh, I, we took a time to talk about this spirit of Jezebel. It is, Jezebel is part of the system of witchcraft. Are you following me, people? So, so, so Jezebel, Jezebel, when she heard that the, uh, the prophet has got rid of her prophet, uh, false prophet, she, she showed and said, may the gods do me worse if by tomorrow I do not cut off Elijah's head. And just like that, a man who has returned a whole nation back to God runs away from a woman called Jezebel. Because Jezebel is not just a woman. She is a force of witchcraft. And Elijah takes off and begs the Lord to kill him. What happened and after such a great victory on the mountain, that this man that should have continued to lead the nation runs away from this woman. Elijah was hit by witchcraft. Um, through discouragement. And be careful, people. Because this is one of the weapons the enemy is using nowadays, especially on ministers and leaders. The enemy will tell you you are useless. The enemy will tell you you are going to die. The, the enemy will make you look around and see nothing is working. In a moment, Elijah forgot the victory of yesterday. 
Be careful when you start forgetting the faithfulness of God. Mumpuli da Boluganda. We gain the reason you be careful. O Kutunuria Biotalina, Neuera Vida Mukama Biaku. Looking at what you don't have and you forget what the Lord has given you. Dukiro would you receive? Remember your testimony. Watch it would ding a name. At least repeat it. Mukama Feva Ziwe. Amina. Watch it that would be. That's how David. Where I mean a mass of the soul, Nagamba. When he stood before Saul, he said, Katondo you. That God who saved me from the deep and, the empolo, empolo and he saved me from a young man is the same God who can take away this glory. You need to stand before the no enemy with the list of, of God's faithfulness. And he said the Lord got me from and the deep and he brought me and I knew no man. But the Lord has been there I've never slept I've never gone naked. Oh, yeah, cause that God who has done that is so faithful to perform what I'm looking at. at. I won't be discouraged because there are things I don't have. I trust God who has been faithful in you the rest. You have to recite your victories, oh, you people. You know, I mean, I'm not going to say what. Where did you live? I'm days? telling you people, you have to have your past victories on your fingertips. You went to school and you finished. You got another job, another job, but you, you have a degree. If, 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 if academics fail, you go to There say, is hope for you in Christ Jesus. So therefore, stop listening to the enemy. Praise the Lord. Don't again speak stuff like your you tongue is a force of creation. Are you pleased? Stop using your tongue to create things. Create, you use your mouth to confess the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember the promises of the Lord. They are all yes and amen in Christ Jesus. If you don't have promises, go into the Bible and search for them. For a long time, the Lord, the, Lord gave me me the Lord gave me Isaiah 54. I've, 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 I've walked through that scripture and I still walk through it. Arise and rejoice and sing, you barren woman who has never given birth. For the children of that who have not given birth are more than that one who has already Bible given birth. The Bible says break and expand. Because the Lord will expand on the right. And the Lord will expand you on the right. The promises of the Lord exist and they are alive to us. The promises of the Lord exist and they are alive to us. And when all those fail, remind the enemy. Even if God never does any other miracle, I will still remember his faithfulness. Hey. Because sometimes the enemy thinks that you are joking. He told the Lord, ah, job is worshipping you because you have the cash. Children go to international schools. Ah, ah, job just loves me. 
devil said no it is possible he loves you because of the stuff you've given him and the Lord said take them away from him and in watch in one day all, all Yobu's wealth died but you know what, what Job said when everything had gone he said the Lord Ate takes jawo. and the Lord takes Erinyaliri glory to his name when God seek and was told to cast God and die, he said, shall we expect only good things from him? He's the Lord of the mountains and is the Lord of the shepherds. The, the, the when they thought that Job was going Ndika to die, he said that God, even if you will kill me, but for me, I will see him with my own eyes. In every situation, Job hindered the devil. Amen. Be so careful in your faith. Don't build it up on this stuff. Because sometimes there is a discussion between God and the devil. And the God. Then the Lord says, take away all the dresses and leave, him with, leave her with the enemy takes the dresses, but your heart follows the dresses. Determined to have a faith that is unshakable. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you know how Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego told you to pray? That is the faith I'm praying for you in Jesus' Bible name. The Bible says the king has no Did you know that I have authority to destroy your lives? They said, we understand, O king. But we also know that the Lord in heaven can save us from your heart. But if he doesn't, he doesn't save us. May it be understood, O king, that we will never worship your idol. Whether we die, let That's us die. That's a kind of faith you need to grow. Whether you fail to get trust in God, walk and come and serve the Lord. Whether you stuff away, bring you church, bring you to the church, bring you to the church, you need to tell the demons in your family that you do not get saved to get things but to know Christ and him crucified therefore stop building your faith on tangible things for the Bible says they are all sinking sand be deep rooted in the word of God not for clothes, not for food. Because I know whatever I'm saying is the people who are there are not they, Fes, are they people. We stayed in the village for 15 years. People got saved from there. Whether you go back, you go back. Whether the job goes, let it go. But there is no losing faith. Whether Whether go back, go back, no losing faith. You are quiet, and all of you are in Kampala. All your faith is on staff, material things. May the Lord, may the Lord help us. Because you, you, are, you, you have built your faith on not the word of God, but the things of this world. Some of you, the devil is shaking your faith because I know God can take you back to zero. But the same God 
can propel you up in one day. Hey. Because the, the Bible says when Job became wealthy again, he never thought about the first stuff. I don't know if you buy, you read your so Bible. Do not, do not yield to the temptation of letting the devil take a, full, a foothold in your life. Tell the devil. For me now that I'm saved, I got saved once whether I have or not, whether I'm married or not, Jesus is Lord. Whether I will give birth or not, Jesus is Lord. Whether I will die without the Lord, Jesus is Lord. You need to discuss. You need to tell the devil that. So that he knows that he can't do anything to take away your faith. And let him also understand that akota, all other akota, akota, akota mundi. is just wasting time. You got saved once and for all. Gamba amina. Say amen. Let me give you five things as we are going to pray. to overcome witchcraft. That will help you. I know Pastor Susan talked about rebellion, witchcraft as rebellion on Sunday. Over Sunday. And I'm telling you people, what is rebellion? Living outside God's authority. God has instituted authority in various, in, 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 at all levels. There is leadership, there is leadership in the family that God instituted. All of you that rebelled against your parents, you need to go back and correct that. You rebelled your parents and went into marriage. You took yourself into marriage. You need to deal with those things. Rebellion is a very bad space for you. And uh, as we draw near to the end of the age, rebellion is increasing. But especially in the church. God has instituted in every church leadership. People who are not under authority, and all the leadership, it is the Lord who has instituted it. Whether it, is good or not, or whether it is bad, God will plan. Good or bad, that will be God for, for the Lord. That will be for the Lord to judge those leaders. But God has instituted leadership. So what is rebellion? Rebellion is refusing to submit yourself and go under God is leadership. If you're a wife, the husband tells you that you are a wife and you should submit to that man. Any other thought and in, in, any, other, any other thought you have is looted in rebellion and that's witchcraft. If that man has no money, you should have foreseen that before you married him. If that man is not as nice looking as you wished, that's not our problem. That's not God's problem. You need to go under God's leadership. Even in a marriage, even in a family, rebellion is refusal to submit yourself under God's appointed authority. And any woman who opens yourself up from leadership for, of your husband, you open yourself up for the evil one, for deceit, 
That's why all you husbands present here on those who watch after, you need to take your place in God and be the leader your wife deserves. Don't allow the woman to be with you in the spiritual realm. Go back into your position. It is the Father to declare I fast. I'm talking to the fathers who are present. A wife has never become a pastor for, their, for the husband. You, you hear men saying, oh, it is the woman who understands these spiritual things. Ah, the Lord is using the, the Lord uses the woman. Now are you the woman? Take your place, men. Be the husband. Be a leader in Jesus' name. Gamba Amina. We are dealing with witchcraft. We are getting rid it from uh, at all levels in Jesus' name. So fight rebellion. Even we have told you. We want this or just or savechiro. Any refusal is rebellion. Full stop. Even you pray from here. We think that you are. Uh, we are your pastors. Don't think I will stand here and I tell you that Me, I assume you. that you sitting in that chair, you have already known that I am appointed and anointed by God to stand where I stand. So, I'm not, I'm not going to submit witchcraft to use any other spirit apart from the spirit of God. So when I stand here and tell you seven days there will be a leader here every night leading us in prayer, I'm not going to shake and tell you God told me because I know he did. If you don't respond, if you don't respond, that's rebellion and that's witchcraft. So when you mean to Gamba, Bananga to Sunderechi Bojinich in the man, we say that we are collecting money. So to Subida Kuja, what if I over Mukama, Mulete, Mulete Muchi Bojin, Lord, bring into this basket. Fetuchitwala for granted in Tiguetukutuzi Zao. For us, we take it that you have. We are Matil and Teguria to Londa Fime Abai Media Wano. We are sure that you are convinced that the Lord chose us. Ero Kirizanti Wetogera, and you believe that Katunda Bayo get enough. The Lord has spoken. So, you won't hear me say, That says the Lord. Uh, no. You are uh, you are uh, uh, we left that level. You are obedient enough. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, Therefore, get out of rebellion. Uh, Therefore, get out of rebellion. Therefore, get out of rebellion. Please understand your pastors. No pastor will back at you. We speak as though we are suggesting. For me, I pastor was joking. Whether you to being bitter, we are we don't beat, we don't back. We speak the word of God praying. And if you feel that when I tell you something, I'm just suggesting, you take my suggestion. Gamba Kamina. So let me give you a few things. How to overcome. We are concluding this thing on Sunday. Bring a family member. Amina. How to, how, how to overcome witchcraft. At all levels. Number one. You need a pure heart. A pure heart. A pure heart, a pure heart I said. Jesus said in Matthew 5.8. Blessed are the pure. Blessed are the pure. If a person is blessed, then they, they, they can't be cast. Blessed are the, in, the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 
That's the antidote number one against witchcraft. This is double vaccination for witchcraft. Hey, bless a pure heart. You remember that story in Numbers 23, 20. 23, 20 and 21. The Bible says in verse 20. Behold, I have received a command to bless. He has blessed. You see the word there? He has done what? He has done what? And I cannot do what? I cannot reverse. Once God blesses a person, there is no witch, there is no witch doctor, there is no wizard, there is nothing evil. The, so he goes on in verse 21. He has not observed what? Iniquity in Jacob. No has. Hmm? Noah has he seen wickedness in Israel. The Lord God is with him and the shout of a king is among them. There are two things that the Bible mentions in this verse. Iniquity and wickedness. They, are ab they were absent in the camp and therefore the witch could not bewitch anything in the absence of sin. You want to live over witchcraft from your family, from your community, from this nation, because witchcraft is everywhere. If you want to live above that power, that power, maintain a pure heart, a heart that forgives, a heart that loves, a heart that obeys. Praise the Lord. Because the Lord, the, 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 the witch saw that there was no iniquity and no wickedness in Israel. Those two are the, are the, the, the bases for witchcraft in people's lives. When people get stuck in sin, most of have seen people who never forgive. But this man left my kid, left no, his his and you hold him on your heart. Oh, the parent who never takes no, care you think you, you hold you hold them on your heart for all the all the years. Such, such things, most of the family things. Sometimes they are so hard to forgive. They, they shared land and they, they didn't give you a portion. Wickedness, any kind of sin attracts witchcraft. People keep unforgiveness, but understand You are not the one to call them. When they are everywhere. Those border borders have office. That is all buildings in Kampala at midnight, there are people pouring blood. All the roads we use are have, have witches. Have you, have you ever minded? Every station called a gate of a town has a witch. Go to Nansana. Over the bypass. Every day there is a bad man. And these mad people. The demons that bewitch areas and 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 and. They, they sit on them. 
A Muralu doesn't come and sit anywhere. I speak that to tell you that a sorcerer is a If you are to overcome it, have a pure heart. Have a heart that forgives. Have a heart that repents of sin. Have a heart that is not blameless. Have a heart that is not Have a heart that loves with, uh, without conditions. Have a heart that overcame jealousy. Your heart is still stuck in You need dreams. to pray this season. That like by season the year. end of this year, jealousy may depart. Forgiveness may leave your heart. God to give you a pure heart. Praise the name of God. Overset your brethren. You will be here. They sent a charm to me. Now I have blisters and all that. Things me wake me up in the night. They brought a head of a chicken in, in my compound. You dream about things. You wake up and you see them. Come on, favor. The second one. How do you overcome? The blood of Jesus is another weapon against which Everyone say the blood of Jesus. Gamba, I plead the blood. Gamba, I plead the blood of Jesus. Bible to Gamba. The Bible tells us in Hebrews 9 12. Bible not with the blood of goats and calves. But with his own blood. He entered the, the most holy place once for all. Having obtained eternal redemption. This is talking about Jesus shedding his blood and how his blood is, speaks better thing than the, the blood of animals. And, the, and the, the blood of birds and the, the blood that was shed before. It is the blood of Jesus that cleanses us and makes us pure as white as snow. So the Bible says when Jesus died, you remember that story when he meets Mary Magdalene in John, John, I think John 15. And she goes to hug him. And Jesus says, woman, do not touch me. For I have not ascended to the Father. He has to present his blood to the Father. So the Father can do away with the ju with judgment of humanity. So that's what the Bible means. He entered once for all the most holy place and he presented his blood. There is no other sacrifice after the sacrifice of Christ. You don't need to sacrifice a man or a bird or an animal. The blood of Jesus is enough. It speaks better things. It would fear a person who has understood the power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a weapon. Praise the Lord. That's why the Bible says in Exodus, chapter 12, verses 23. For the Lord who passed through the, through the land to strike the Egyptian and when he sees the blood on the rentals and on the two doorposts, 
The Lord will pass over the doors and not allow the destroyer to come into your house and strike you. This is in Egypt during the Passover. The angel of death is going through the land. But the Lord tells the, is the, the camp of Israel that you put the blood of the lamb on your doorposts and your rentals. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. It happens the same even with the powers of witchcraft. If someone is covered under the blood of Jesus, there is no wizard, there is no witch, there is no witch doctor that can dig you out, out, out of under the blood of Jesus. You need a blood over your life. And don't think we waste time when we bring you on, uh, on the Lord's table on, uh, on Holy Communion every Sunday. The blood of Jesus is another antidote against witchcraft. Even if you are bewitched when you are under the blood. Even if they curse you when you are under the blood. Because the Lord himself said, When I see the blood, I will pass over. The blood covers us. The blood covers our sin. The blood covers us. Where the enemy Where he can never be. You need to hide under the blood. Praise the Lord. Did you know that the blood of Jesus is a weapon? Did you know that the blood of Jesus is a weapon? I mean, there is no time I see without calling the blood. I can't wake up and I don't call the blood. When I'm going to see my sin, the blood of Jesus over my wife, over my children, over this house, over the church of Kawempe Worship Center, over this nation, I plead the blood. Why? Because in the night, as demons roam around, when they see the blood that I called before I went to bed, they bypass my house. Because every time I go to bed, I cover my house with the blood. I plead the blood over my house. Praise the Lord. There is not, this scripture is not there that uh, Holy Communion has to be in church. But in Kuzibula Mans, so you can even help your children. To have Holy Communion. You are a pastor at home. Father, get a cup. Lead your family. There is power in the blood. For that you people have learned how to make But for us, when, by the time we learned how to chase demons, we couldn't shout and to them. We just sing. Then you will see those who have snakes moving around. They get out of tongue. They speak. They know they speak. But for you are shouting. You got used to it. Just call upon the blood. No demon, no chitega. No 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 Whenever you stop the blood, they said, don't call for the blood. Because the blood of Jesus has power. It has power. Power that is greater than jik. The power of the blood. Is stronger than Omo. Whenever you see the blood of Jesus, you can see the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is stronger than acid. 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 The blood of
the word of God. These are weapons. Antidotes against witchcraft. Bible Hebrews 4:12. For the word of God is what? <laughs> Look at that verse. For the word of God is is what? For the word of God is what? Is living. In other words, the word of God is breathing. Do you see that verse? You cannot, the word of God is alive. It has life, it has a breath. The word of God is what? Is living. It has never died and it will never die. It is not in pause, it is not in coma. The word of God is what? Is breathing and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of God is not just the written ink in that book you hold. It is a breathing creature. It is a living word. Why? The Bible says the word of God is a weapon. In Ephesians 6, uh, 17, it is called the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Are you following me, people? There is power in the word of God. I say there is a power in the word of God. Our generation got used to a lot of shouting and a lot of empty words and people's words, but there is power in the word of God. Why? Because it is living. Anytime you release the word by your mouth, what are you releasing? You are releasing a living thing. You are releasing a force that a force that creates. The word of God is living. And the Lord never opens your eyes and you looked. Look it has a beating heart. It is alive. It is strong. And it is very sharp. Sharper. It is sharper than a double-edged sword. It is so powerful. It is at the same time. Those who listen to it and those who never listen. The to word it. of God is living. It is powerful. It is sharper. It is piercing. It can divide to the smallest, tiniest cell. In other words, there is no place. If spoken under the influence of the Holy Spirit, the word is spoken over every situation. It will be, it will cover that situation. That's why, because the word of the Lord is when you speak it in a wrong situation, that situation will rise by itself. Because the word is a breath of life. The Bible says in John 1 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was what? With God and the word was. So anytime you say the word of God, you are talking about Christ Himself. That's why it's so sorry. The people who follow 
who follow them don't like the Bible at all. It's very difficult to go to a shrine and you find the Bible. But the word of God is not just the word is a says. weapon. You remember in Matthew 4 when Jesus is confronted by the devil himself and he tempts him in four areas and Jesus just uses the word. It is written. It is written. Praise the Lord. So that's why the Bible says my people are lost for lack of knowledge. They don't know the word of God. Praise the Lord. Whenever you understand the word of the Lord, Lord, every time you speak it out, it's like you are, you are spitting arrows. 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 You are my landlord is bad law. Such words. It's like you are, you are, you are pampering the situation. Get a word to speak and say in Jesus' name. It was written that whoever comes to the Lord of the Lord should believe that the Lord of the Lord is in you. I promised Isaiah, and you said you will never forsake me. You will never forsake me. Never and often, you'll never forget about it. Parents can forget their son. No, you give him Yanik when you come a chow and dikiwa. You speak the scriptures. Java question got a valley swaziwa. It was written that those who trust in you will never be ashamed. Those who believe in you will never be ashamed. I am, and it is being taken. Oh, Messiah Jabba is Samuenda. The guy is Yam Moses Zadanti Katonda Walu. He has already asked me where is your God. Get a scripture. Because it is living. Every gambo, they are dead. Your words are dead, but the word of God is alive. Before gambo the church is so much beaten because it doesn't. Amen. Therefore, brethren, the word of God is a sword. But if you don't know it, even in your prayers, you just speak words. Number four, the name of Jesus. Did you know the name? The name is a, a weapon. Philippians two ten says. Therefore. God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the mention of this name, every knee should bow in heaven and on those on earth and those under the earth and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hey, there is no other name. You will listen to Satula musicians. Then they start saying, Ah, you also have a then you sit and, and listen. Then you sit and listen. Among those Satula singers can put Jesus in the Because the Lord they are talking about is not our 
Yesu this name Jesus cannot be spoken in the shrine and the sorcerer cannot speak out that name Unkuwate chokula weko awa imbi wa gospel awa sachula. Basso la kuimba katonda. Can only sing about God. Basso la kuteka muni nyali ya Yesu. They can never mention the name Jesus. Kuwanga boba katonda banji. Because God. Tomanya katonda gua imba ko. You never know the God is singing. A imba katonda ya nyambi. He sings how God has to get here. Yanzani sima ya yanzi jawa. Na yete ni wewe uliyali nyali ayesu. Mwachi kuvanga mizimu jeva samira. Because the demons they worship. Teji sawa la kugumikiri zali nyali ayesu. Wali ogere yawe bakutira. I not stand the name of Jesus. The moment you you speak. Eri nyali ayesu ni na man. The name of Jesus has power. Mwachi nti kuvanga te wali rinyadala. Because there is no other name. Wansi wansi. Under the earth. Wagulu wayo. Above the earth. Wagulu mugulu. Up in the heavens. Ne wagulu wagulu. Even above heavens. Eria we wabuinza. That was given authority. Oku jake rinya Yesu. Unless the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name. Tiwariya tuluwa. At the mention of the name. Tiwariya tuluwa. At the mention of the name. At the mention of the name. Buliwariya tuluwa. Every knee. Buliwariya tuluwa. Every demon. Buliwariya tuluwa. Every evil spirit. Buliwariya tuluwa. Every prince. Spality, dominion and power. They all bow down to this knee. For the Bible says in, in Colossians 1, for Jesus Christ, he is the face of the invisible God. In him, all things were made for him and in him, by him and for him. Hey! Don't joke with the name of Jesus. For you to see that people don't fear God. Not everyone who talks about God talks about the Almighty God. When you are chasing the demon and you say, call Jesus, it will never speak. That's when you know that the name of Jesus is a weapon. You who fear shrines, you just need to stand in Jesus' name. Once you omusai, under your blood, I cast out that shrine. The name of Jesus has power. More than your own power. That will give you hope that overcomes the future. In your, in your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you wake up and call that name seven times every morning. <laughs> Jesus. 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 And this sign shall follow those who believe That's in my Mark, name. Mark 17, <laughs> 16 says, in my name, in my name, they will cast out demons. In whose name? In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has power, brother. Those will be enough for you. I know police will move you to run. You say, "Be in charge." Give a policeman a lot of weapons; he may fail to use them. I've given, how many weapons have I given? Immediately, Raise up and let's make use of them now. They work. They work, brethren. A heart that is pure is a weapon. It attracts God even without calling him. A heart that is not corrupted will bring God and where God is. You know what the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Amen. Tetuli wangulwa. Muli nyari a Yesu. Yesu ye musale wafe. Tetuli wangulwa. Muli ndeko. Nemwe. Mwali muru wanyeko kuuntalo muli. Have you ever fought battles you people? Ngo simbi olukokola. Mwe. Obu wanguzi. Victory. Obu gendo kuja u. The victory that is going to get you from where you are. Are the things we are talking about. Tetuli wangulwa. Muli nyari a Yesu. 
Yesu ye msani wa fete tuli wangu wa Fete tuli wangu wa Mbinya ya Yesu Yesu ye msani wa fete tuli wangu wa Fete tuli wangu wa Mbinya ya Yesu Yesu ye msani wa fete tuli wangu wa Ele mizimu jigo wa Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa e fete tuli wangu wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa e ne mizi mujigo wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa Mulinde ko amma wait but I don't understand these people who are here. Now we are declaring war. But you even fail to clap. I was going to ask you, like who bewitched you? Who, who bewitched you for you to sing the things you are going to sing? Who bewitched you to sing what you are going to sing? Yesu ye musale wa fete Engalo zikuwe nga ziwela Fete tuli wangu lwa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu lwa Ene mizi mujigo wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu lwa Ene mizi mujigo wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa E fete tuli wangu wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa Ne mizi mujigo wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa E ne misa mwa jigo wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa E ama ye mbego ke wa Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa Fete tuli danyuma Mulinya ya Yesu Yesu ye musale wa fete tuli wangu wa Omusai 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 gwa Yesu Omusai gwa Yesu, we kudu wa mani Omusai omusai omusai, omusai gwa Yesu Omusai gwa Yesu, we kudu wa mani Omusai omusai omusai, omusai gwa Yesu Omusai gwa Yesu, we kudu wa mani Omusai omusai omusai, omusai gwa Yesu Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, Musai! Yesu, 
Lusitania, the money in the morning, Yasu, Mulinaya, Yasu, Mulinaya, Yasu, Mulinaya, Yasu, Juliva, Wangu, Mulinaya, Yasu, Mulinaya, Yasu, Sitania, the money in the morning, Mulinaya, Mulinaya, Yasu, Mulinaya, Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Call upon 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 the blood of Jesus. Call the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Call the blood of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus over your children. Plead the blood over your marriage. Plead the blood of Jesus over your finances. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life. the blood of Jesus over your life. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over every member of Kawempe Worship Center. I plead the blood of Jesus over every pastor and their houses. I plead the blood of Jesus over the Sunday school. I plead the blood of Jesus over the youth church. I plead the blood of Jesus over the women. I plead the blood of Jesus over every house, over every family, over every marriage, over every business, over every ministry, over every department. I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I pray the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over this campus, the blood of Jesus over this property, the blood of Jesus over every family, the blood of Jesus over every relationship, the blood of Jesus over every company, the blood of Jesus over every individual, over every every pregnancy. In the name of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus, I call the blood of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus. 
for it is written that when you see the blood you shall pass over that when you see the blood I pass over you in Jesus name the blood that speaks a better thing the blood of the new covenant the blood that Jesus shed on the cross the blood of Jesus I call the blood I breathe the blood I speak the blood over my family over my parents over my brothers over my sisters over my everything I breathe the blood over my ministry I breathe the blood Omsaigwa Yesu kukununula Omsaigwa Yesu Ogusaza muenda gano Omsaigwa vinyonyi Omsaigwa visolo Omsaigwa bantu Buli sadaka Debakola Debakola inda gano Mchikache wa mwe Omsaigwa Yesu Gujimalawo Omsaigwa Yesu Gufulula Buli dogo Debateka kumalalo ge wa mwe Debateka mulujelwe wa mwe Debasimba miti Munziji Munyumba Mumisingi Om Saigwa Yesu, Om Saigwa Yesu, Om Saigwa Yesu, Om Saigwa Yesu, Om Saigwa Yesu. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Siba uli la volu ganda luno rutalo. Om Saigwa Yesu go gerebi gambebi runji. Leka gukuoleleze, buli musango. Leka gukuoleleze, eri aba kubanja. Leka gukuoleleze, eri aba kuwairiza. Leka gukuoleleze, eri aba kuogera ko. Saba, Saba, Olu Ganda, we Sabide, we Sabide, O Musai, Saba, 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 O Musai, Dero, Gusa Zamuenda Gano Zeneza Soka, O Musai, Gwo Gere Bigambe Virunji, O Musai, Gwo Oleleza, O Musai, Gwo Gere Ako, Toli Muloge, Toli Kochi Sirani, O Musai, Gwo Gere Bigambe Virunji, Joli, Toli Wachi Sirani, Toli Kule Merelua, O Musai, Gwo Oleleza, O Musai, Gwo Yesu, Gwo Oleleza, O Musai, Gwo Yesu, Gwo Oleleza, O Musai, Gwo Yesu, Om saigwa esu kukuoleleza Sava, Om Sai Gukujayo, El Jebate Kerinya Yongo Limuto, Gukujayo Mobin to Yachika, Om Sai Gukuitayo, Om Sai Guayesu, Gukubi Kako, El Jebate Kobulida Wo, Om Sai Guayesu, Itom Sai Tom Sai Tokoa, Gukuole Zalero, Gukuole Zamasoga Katunda, Om Sai Guayesu. Guku singi somu sango, omu sai gwa yesu, guku oleleza, omu sai gwa yesu, guku wanguza, omu sai gwa yesu, guku isawo, omu sai gwa yesu, guku jema gombe, guku jamu bilote bibi, guku jamu vasa mize, spiritual husbands, e bilote bibi, e nightmares.
Saba, 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 Omusai Goku Jayolero, Omusai Oguayesu, Omusai Guayesu Gumala, 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 Guja Oburi Bara, Guku Jacoboli Chibi, Guadal is a memeo. Omusayo vayo, omusayi kujayo na babo, na haba na bo, guozen songa yo, omusayi kusa sulama banja, guasa sule banja liyo, omusayi kukuoleleza, omusayi kukuoleleza, huli mizime ejiba deji kurumbe chilo, ejiba deji kurumba nga weba se, be spiritual husband, ebiroto lote bibi, ama gombe, omusayi kwa yesu kukuoleleza, kukujema gombe, Kujamu masaba jeba tekeri nyaliyo, omusai gua Yesu, butu kuzeri nyaliyo, o kuvamu arutali zechika, omusai gua Yesu, gukuoleleza.
And those sons bewitched. Hallelujah. Thank God. Ever since I started talking the about the the one who have been bewitched, and even the witches, are no longer here. are no longer do not even leave a baby on Sunday. All of us. I will ask you to come early. Because what is remaining on Sunday. Is on Sunday. The mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Love Jesus. Each one of us and our family we are going to be here. So God look at it. We are going to be here. We are going to be here. Isaac. We are going to be here. We are going to be here. Thank you. Isaac. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Davo Davo. Hallelujah. 
prepare your offering and your tithe. The other basket is for tithe. This one is for the building. The other one is for the offering. And we bring in the house of the Lord. Just to start bringing in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go through our announcements very fast so that we may leave this place. Hallelujah. We thank God for this day and we thank God for the message that, that they have just delivered to us. We thank our pastor and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Do we have any visitor here today? If it is your first time to come and fellowship here with us, just wave to us from there where you are. Okay, we don't have a visitor. In this place, in, we have baby dedication. Every last Sunday of the month. And on 23rd of this month, we have marriage retreat season two. This Saturday. Saturday of this week. All marriage are supposed to be here. Are there married? Then don't forget to, to, to come on this, this Saturday. On 24th, July, which is this Sunday, it is a Family Freedom Sunday. They have talked much about it. I'll not say much about it also. On 25th to 31st, that will be next week, Monday to Sunday. It will be a revival week with Apostle Stephen Atria. And on 29th July, a night of supernatural turn around. It will be just on that same week of revival. The, we shall have a powerful overnight year with Apostle Stephen Atria and Apostle Peter. Don't miss. On 30th July, men's talk show and breakfast from 8 to 10. After that, on that very 30th, it will be a Saturday from 10 to 12 p.m. Ministers and leaders shall be meeting. All ministers and leaders don't miss that meeting. On 31st of July, we shall have a Sunday worship encounter. Don't miss it. It will be a wonderful experience in the presence of God. May God bless you. Rise up on your feet. As we say the words of the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, Lord, now and forevermore. Amen. May God bless you. In Jesus' name.